We're with the team now at Valif and I'm joined by marketing manager Richard Neal, which is how he was introduced to me, which is such a great way of introducing anyone. Yeah, that's, that's my team. They're, they're great. Thank you. I'll thank them, for, I'll thank them later. Absolutely. Full titles only. Uh, brilliant. So Richard, can you tell us a little bit about Valif, what it is that you do? Okay, so Valif are a um, sense and automation company. So we're fourth generation family owned. We've just had our centenary, so we've been in the industry over 100 years. Um, and as you can see, we've got lots of different technology on display today, primarily sensing and automation, but also how we can improve overall equipment effectiveness. And we've got lots of different solutions for that. Well, I think we need to look at some of these. So let's start over on this fantastic table here. What, what's going on? Okay, so we're showing here some of the new um, BVS vision sensors and uh, vision ID sensors. So this one is a 1D, 2D barcode reader. Um, connects via IOLink, which is a, a very current industry standard um, means of connecting automation to higher level systems, back to the PLC. So unique features of this device is that it's single button teach, a very, very quick and easy to set up. It has an inbuilt web browser, which holds all the configuration software. So there's no external software required at all. And it's really, really flexible. So we're showing here that we can see multiple codes at one time. Um, they could be different types of codes, so 1D or 2D barcodes or QR codes. And we can score the codes as well. So, you know, on a practical application on a machine, on a packaging machine, for instance, um, if you wanted to do an end of line police check, just to make sure that the code that's being printed is readable at the other end, we can score those codes and, and give that information back to, uh, back to the PLC. Really. Wow, and I mean, that's, that's pretty important because if any of them mess up then that's a whole world of issues right absolutely yeah. yeah i mean at the end of the day you know a lot of the a lot of the people in this environment and this industry they're supplying to end users and it, the worst case scenario is that they get a rejected batch because they can't read a barcode and you know and the penalties by you know uh, the penalties in, in imposed by by the end customers can be massive so it's really important so well, i mean that's brilliant to see in the fact that it's doing it great so what other innovations and technologies are you showcasing okay, so we're showing here some of our latest um, IOLink technology. Mm -hmm. So IOLink is all about getting more information out your sensors on the field and getting that information back up in a usable format to the PLC or a higher level. Mm -hmm. So one of the biggest buzzwords in the industry at the moment is condition monitoring or OEE, improved overall equipment, uh, overall equipment eff effectiveness. And what we're trying to do is basically monitor the health of the production line or the piece of machinery. And we can do that by using condition monitoring sensors. So that's our new condition monitoring sensor, the BCM2. Mm -hmm. And that will give us three axis vibration and acceleration. So if you want to look at the health of a motor or a pump or something, we can monitor the vibration and the temperature just through that one sensor. And then we can present that information in a really usable format, either directly to the PLC or we can export that data via our condition monitoring toolkit, um, which is an edge gateway, and we can send that straight up to a cloud-based um, condition monitoring system. Um, all the other things that you're seeing on here are various types of sensors. They're all connected via IOLink back to the PLC, but they all again have a degree of inbuilt intelligence. So, um, you know, the, the photoelectric sensors and the inductive proximity sensor here, if they get knocked out of alignment when they're in use on the, on the, on the machine, they'll actually send an error message back saying, I've been moved, I'm not functioning now, or I'm dirty, I need to be cleaned. And they're all very, um, they're all designed to be used in a washdown environment. So, you know, they're, they're IP67 rated, they can, they can take high pressure cleaning. Um, yeah, it's really good. And on this panel, we're just showing that we can actually, actually connect standard digital inputs and outputs as well to the system. So these are typical examples of normal sensors that you see in the automation world inductive sensors, encoders, photoelectric sensors of different kinds, and we're just connecting them back via a sensor hub, back to the IOLink master, and instead of having to individually wire all of these sensors back, we're just using one standard four-core sensor cable. So it's a massive time saving for the end user uh, on installation, and you get great diagnostics as well. So. Which is always quite helpful. Um, and I love as well with this that actually it doesn't really matter where you are, sort of what you, the current technology that you have, you can sort of add this in somewhere, can't you? Absolutely, it's completely backwards compatible. Yeah, yeah so we can take existing 
production lines or existing machines with standard sensors, digital I.O. or analog sensors, and we can incorporate those onto an I.O. link system really easily. So it's, uh, it's a nice solution. Yeah, brilliant solution. All right, let's move on. Okay. I'm loving so, all of these. This one looks really exciting. So basically we're showing here some of the, the more advanced camera systems that we have within, within the Balaf portfolio. So things like 3D, um, uh, 3D imaging. So what we would use that for is the things like robot guidance for pick and place applications. Um, another massive side of the business is obviously high resolution camera systems. So, you know, we've got um, high megapixel rate cameras um, that we would generally supply to customers who would want to integrate them into their machine. Yeah. Uh, and we'll work with systems integrators and the end user to, to get the right solution for, for their application. Brilliant. Yeah, okay, fantastic. So we're going to move on to our fourth and final one now as well. Um, and I think this is my favorite because this is a game, right? I love that you've brought a game to PPMA Absolutely. show. This, is this the highlight for everyone? Uh, I, well, I think automation should be fun. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, what we're, what we're seeing uh, is, is just a perfect example of, you know, Balaf IO Link equipment mm -hmm. and, and standard sensors. So these are capacitive sensors with our programmable smart lights all going back through an iLink sensor hub or, or uh, iLink sensor hub and an iLink master back to the PLC and it's just like a, a version of whack-a-mole. Okay, so I'm going to have a go at this and you're going to have to talk me through it kind of where, as we go. I'm going to hand the mic over. Okay, so I'm just going to set the system up now. Fantastic. So the green flashing light means you're ready to go. Okay. You've got the two go sensors so you need to place your hands on those yep. and then the countdown will start. And when the lights light up individually, you need to press the cor corresponding sensor. I'm a drastically competitive. So go for it. Have a go. You've started. Oh. <laughs> How's this going down, Mr. Everything? People enjoying this one? Absolutely, yeah. There's a real competitive edge with this game. And it's quite score? addictive. I'm, I'm currently the highest scorer, so you've got to beat 25. And your countdown time is going down nicely, so you know, you're in danger of beating me. 20. Oh, oh close. That was well close. That was Thank you. I'm going to need a high five for that one. Thank you very much. Um, so I think the tagline here is automation should be fun. Automation should be fun and can be fun. Absolutely. Come down, have a chat and have a game on the whack-a-mole. It's, it's good fun. Thanks for your time.